In this video, let's look into the fundamental rules of geometrical dimensioning and tolerancing. These rules are followed across the industry. Also, there are various industry standards, so there might be a slight difference in the interpretation. So, let's begin. The first rule says each dimension shall have a tolerance. So, let's take a look at this drawing. Here let's see whether all the dimensions are meeting the first fundamental rule. This dimension of diameter 0.15 is having its tolerance. So it is in line with the first rule. Now, this radius is not having tolerance mentioned next to it. So we are going to check for any comments stating the general tolerances. As you see for dimension, with two decimal places, the tolerance is plus minus 0.01. Considering that statement, we take the tolerance for this radius as plus minus 0.01. With that, this dimension is also in line with the first fundamental rule. We'll also check for the rest of the dimensions, and see if they are in line with the first fundamental rule of, each dimension shall have a tolerance. Now, when we look at this dimension, we can see that it has four decimal places. And when we look at this comment, it does not have tolerance for dimension with four decimal places. So, we can say that this dimension is not in line with the first fundamental rule. The second fundamental rule says, there should be a full understanding of each feature. Looking at this feature, it gives us full information that the diameter of the circle is 0.15. Hence in compliance with the second fundamental rule. But, when we look at this dimension, it is not having the diameter symbol, so there is no clear description for this feature. Hence it is not in line with the second fundamental rule. We are not supposed to assume that, it is a diameter. Also, since this feature is not having a dimension, we are not supposed to scale it, and manually measure its dimension with a scale or something. Look for this dimension in other views of the object. In this case, this dimension is shown in the front view of the object. To know about different types of views, subscribe to my channel, and look out for my video on different types of views. The third fundamental rule is, necessary dimension of an end product, shall be shown. As you can see most of the dimensions, are shown in the drawing. But some of the dimensions are still missing. There is no dimension mentioned for this feature in the drawing. Hence it does not follow the third fundamental rule. When we place this dimension of 45 degree chamfer, we can calculate that dimension. With this feature in place, it is in compliance with the third fundamental rule. Now when we look at both these dimensions, it represents the same feature, which means, there are more dimensions than necessary, which is not a good practice, as per this fundamental rule. The fourth rule says dimension shall be selected and arranged to suit the function and mating relationship of a part. The dimensions in this drawing are arranged to suit the function and mating relationship. One way of checking this is by coinciding the axis of features from one view of the part to next. But, if we move these front view and the top view from its place, then it is not satisfying a mating relationship. Hence this is not a good practice, as per the fourth fundamental rule. As per the fifth fundamental rule, the method of manufacture should not be defined on the drawing, a reference to the required specification can be specified on the drawing. Consider this dimension, we can see that, method of manufacture is specified next to it, which is not a good practice per this fundamental rule. When there is a need to mention, the method of manufacture, then it should be mentioned in the comments section of the drawing. The sixth fundamental rule says, object having dimensions that are not useful to its manufacturing process shall be reasonably identified. When we look at this drawing, it has two front views. When we take a close look at these dimensions, then one shows as 80.0 and the other shows as 50.0. This drawing has two parts, one that shows the manufacturing data, and the other shows the non-manufacturing data. To understand this scenario, let's consider this object in 3D, and this object, where our manufactured object is going to be assembled. When manufactured, the diameter of this object is 80.0, but, when we place this object in its end use position, then its diameter is going to change to 50.0. This means, the object is going to have two diameters, that is before assembly and after assembly. Switching back to our drawing, so such kind of data shall be reasonably identified, as shown. Do not mix this dimension with the manufacturing data, it can cause confusion. And it will violate the sixth fundamental rule. 
The seventh fundamental rule says dimensions shall be arranged in such a way that they are readable. Dimensions should be shown in true profile views and referred to outlines. This dimension of 0.25 is a bit difficult to read, hence it is not in line with this rule. The right way of expressing this dimension is here. Take a look at this dimension, its orientation is not the same as others. Well this is also not a good practice, under this rule. The correct way would be to place that dimension in this orientation. And when you consider this dimension, it uses one profile line that is a continuous line, and one hidden line that is dotted line, which is again not a good practice per this rule. In brief, we should minimize the use of dotted lines or hidden edges for dimensioning purposes. The eighth fundamental rule says 90 degree angle applies, where center lines and lines depicting features are shown on the 2D orthographic drawing at right angles. This means that, when we consider these center lines, x-axis in red, and z-axis in blue, it is understood that they are at a 90 degree angle, there is no need to mention the angle. So when we mention the angle like this, then it is not in line with this fundamental rule of implied 90 degree. Also, this angle depicting the feature at 90 degree, there is no need to mention the 90 degree, as it is understood that these edges are at 90 degree without mentioning the same. To know more about axis and datums, subscribe to my channel, and look for my video on axis and datums. The ninth fundamental rule says all dimensions and tolerances are applicable at 20 degrees Celsius, unless otherwise specified. This one is quite straightforward, there is no need for further expansion of the topic, but if you wish to know more then please leave a comment. The tenth fundamental rule says all dimensions and tolerances apply, in a free state condition. To understand this rule, consider this object in the first quadrant. To know more about quadrant, subscribe to my channel to watch the video on first angle projection and third angle projection. The free state condition of an object means, the object is free to move in all directions, which is free to move along the y-axis, also it is free to rotate about y-axis, as illustrated. Likewise, it is free to move along the x-axis, and also, free to rotate, about the x-axis. Similarly, it is free to move along the z-axis, and also, free to rotate, about the z-axis. So, according to this fundamental rule, the dimensions and tolerances apply in free state condition, which means the object is free to move and rotate about all three axes, and in all six motions without any constraints. To know more about constraints and 3 2, 1 principle, then subscribe to my channel and look out for my video on the 3 2, 1 principle. The last fundamental rule we are going to discuss in this video, says where required the coordinate system shown in the drawing should be right-handed, with each axis labeled respectively. When we look at the coordinate system of this drawing, it's exactly in line with the rule. For the left-handed coordinate system, the positive sign will change to negative, and violate this fundamental rule. But, there are certain cases which need a left-handed coordinate system. To know more about axes and datum, please subscribe to my channel, and watch out for the video on, axes and datums. Suggestions are most welcome. With this, we come to the end of this video.